in a bad way. Any Greek people in? Yeah? Pay your taxes. It'd be a start, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not difficult. They're in a bad way and it's not all their fault. I feel bad for Greece. Yeah, it's so bad over there. You know, they're selling off their islands. They're selling off their... I think we should buy them, put them in the British Museum. I'm a completist, what can I say? <laughs> no, it is. It's a bad, bad, bad situation in Greece. It's not entirely their fault. Greece was never supposed to be in the Euro. That's right, we're drifting from my fart straight into a light economics lecture. Hold on, people. <laughs> So Greece were never supposed to be in the Euro. They had too much sovereign debt. You know this, yeah? <laughs> right? They had too much sovereign debt. They couldn't get in. Goldman Sachs, the investment bank, hid their sovereign debt and snuck Greece into the Euro. And you can understand why Greece wanted to get in. They were like a kid outside a nightclub, you know? They were too young, had the wrong shoes on, but they could hear it. They were excited. They could hear <laughs> And the Greeks were excited. They wanted to get in. And I should warn you, for the Greek people, I'm not very good at the Greek accent, but I'll give it a go, OK? <laughs> so Greeks were outside, they could hear... Bzz, 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 and they went... Hey! <laughs> I want to get into the nightclub! <laughs> That's not good, that, is it? But they couldn't get in, weren't allowed. They had too much sovereign debt, and France were on the door, being the bouncer. France said, no, you cannot come in here, huh? Look at you, shitty Greece. You are too young, you have too much sovereign debt, you're wearing the wrong shoes. Go on, get out of here. Look, you have curly slippers on. Get out of here. <laughs> the Goldman Sachs hid their sovereign debt, gave them fake ID, changed their shoes, and snuck Greece in through the back door of the club. The Greeks were in now, and they were excited. They're inside the club going, ooh, ooh. You know how Greeks are, not like that. <laughs> we're inside the Euro club now, ooh, ooh. No. It's exciting for Greece, brilliant. They're on the inside, and that's when they realise the club has a German DJ. <laughs> and that's when shit started to get scary for Greece when they heard, Ya, das is my Euro house. Turn it up a little more. Dance fast, a little Greece. <laughs> By this stage, the Greeks were desperately trying to keep up, going, ah! Please, will you slow the music down? <laughs> Don't you have an inanimous Cody or Demis Rusos? <laughs> no, Dash is my Euro house. <laughs> Dance fast, a little shit. <laughs> By this stage, the Greeks were slumped in the corner, going, please, I should never have been in here. I have too much sovereign debt, and look, curly slippers. <laughs> they can't get out, because the Germans have locked the door. The Germans dictate how fast the music goes, and because they're German, that's very fast indeed. <laughs> Germans have two speeds for their music, umpa and techno. <laughs> Greeks fully went in through the wrong door. They could have been so happy right now, one club further up going... <laughs> <laughs> so every... <laughs> Love that umpa. <laughs> Everything the Greeks are living on. It's handouts from the Germans. That's hard. Greece is an old culture. They have their pride. It's difficult. The Germans give them all their money and they can tell them the things they want them to do so they can treat Greece however they want. Usually it's like a naughty teenager. Like, yeah, okay, Greece, you can have your pocket money, <laughs> but first you must tidy your room. <laughs> the Greeks like, hey, we invented philosophy. Yeah, and we invented the Volkswagen and the Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> people buy shitloads of those, so tidy your room or it's back into the techno club, you little shit. <laughs> Germans have got it this time, they are on it. They're like, yeah, the last two times we tried it was a little bit awkward with all of the killing of the people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this time, this time it is much better. This time we just buy it. We work a little longer and we spend a little less and we just buy it because also last time people were quite cross with us. <laughs> so you must not be killing all of these people. We're like, yeah, we are knowing this now. <laughs> this time is better. Look, we have receipt. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute delight. Thank you so much. See you again. Thank you. Goodbye.